How's it going folks? This is Joe with Joe's Gaming Electronics, joesge.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a comparison video. We have the newest Bose NC700 and then we have the Sony WH-1000XM4. That does sound like a rocket or something or something crazy. Sony loves to complicate all their model numbers with XMs and 500s and thousands things and fours. So first things first, crazy name. Really good headphones, same with the Bose headphones. We got a couple cool things to see and show you guys. So first things first, the Bose headphones are primarily made of metal. If you look at this entire housing, you have this band that stretches right here. And then we have these swivels that swivel, then they go up and down to adjust on your head. And then you have a little bit of a leeway here to adjust in regards to this mounting on your face. Both of them, of course, are over ear designs as well, which is good. They're both noise cancellation, which is great as well. If we will look here, here's the entire design. Here's the ear cups. You see the Type-C charger port, the 2.5 millimeter, not a 3.5 millimeter AUX jack here if you're gonna be doing this in a wired. And as you can tell here, you have the headband with a little bit of rubber. So these are really sweet headphones, primarily made of metal, and they are a little bit heavier than the Sony headphones. These are 9.4 ounces, and then these are 8.8 .8 ounces based off our scale here. And so you can see here, here are the Sony headphones. They're primarily made of plastic. A little bit cheaper feel. Right here, you can see there's the outside. There's the side panels, swivels back and forth like this. Then you have your adjustment like this. And then you can actually fold these as well, which you cannot do with the Bose headphones. And then these swivel as well, right? And then we have this other side. And then this here charges with a Type-C charger port as well with a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And one thing we do see here on the left side is this is the sensor that actually pauses the music and then shuts your headphones off after 15 minutes if you don't use it. That's one of the features that we found with these Sony headphones that we did not like, the fact that it just shuts off. It's mainly for saving power, makes sense, but it would be nice if the headphones stayed on, that we don't have to power them back on and then they have to pair to your Bluetooth settings, then you can go ahead and uh, start using them again. That kind of sucks. So talking about the control function on these, of course, all headphones have pause play, next, up volume, down volume. As you can see, there's no buttons on these. Yes, the only buttons you'll see are the power button and then you have the options to change the type of active noise cancellation or if you want transparency on. The call functions are all on these by gesture, meaning you click on the right side and you swipe one way, you swipe the other way, you go up and down for volume, pause, play, stuff like that. Kind of what you'll see with the AirPods, that type of uh, style in regards to controls, which is cool. But at the same time, I like physical buttons because sometimes I click it and it doesn't pause it or it does too much. So that kind of sucks too. The technology is definitely a lot better. Samsung more or less pioneered the gesture touch. And so Bose and Sony now have that information that have that technology on here and it makes it look really sleek because you don't see the buttons. But at the same time, it's kind of confusing when you just get the headphones, you don't really know what to do or how to make music go up or down or pause and play. That's something to keep in mind. All right, you're gonna be talking about the noise cancellation on these. So I did a very scientific test, AKA I took our Dyson V11 vacuum, I was vacuuming our warehouse area, and I put these headphones on and I put the active noise cancellation on and just start a vacuum and you can hear the vacuum in the background very little of course and then I took the Bose NC 700s and I did the same exact thing and you can hear the vacuum very little the noise cancellation in a neutral state meaning I use the same controlled variable which is the Dyson vacuum I heard the same exact of noise from both headphones. I do not see any difference at all in regards to noise cancellation from one or the other. I know these have dynamic noise cancellation, so they're supposed to take any kind of information coming in and then give you a little bit more active noise cancellation on the inside, so then you hear less of it. Experiencing that, I went ahead and did not see any difference between one or the other without any music playing, of course. If you have music playing, you're not gonna hear anything in the background anyways, but that's something that I did to try to see if one was better at noise cancellation than the other in a neutral state, and they were both acted exactly the same. I did not see a difference at all. All right, comfortability. That's really important, right? How long can you wear something, things like that? That's important. The bows. NC 700s, why I love Bose in general, is the way they design the ear cup makes your ear, the top part of your ear here, go inside and not get bothered by the ear pad. So you see here, there is a little slot here on the inside, and that slot allows for your ear, this part here, to go in and just chill there. 
there's no contact with the inside of the ear pad, not causing any irritation through long-term use, which is really cool. Sony's have a very similar design as you can see right here. Your, your ear just kind of chills in the background and that allows to make sure that you don't have as much irritation like you'd have with an on-ear pair or something that's constantly being pushed up against it, which will then be annoying after a few hours. So that's something to keep in mind. They both do a really good job of that. I personally prefer the Bose NC700s. I've been wearing these. I do enjoy the comfort on them and the ear pads on them are slightly thicker. That kind of creates a little bit more of a barrier and I do enjoy that. So that's one of the big ups on the NC700 versus the Sony 1000XM rocket ship. All right, with the noise cancellation on, the Bose headphones get 20 hours of battery life, which is awesome. And then the Sony's get 30 hours of battery life, which is even better. That's great, I love that. I love long battery life, especially if you're traveling, so you're not gonna have to charge your headphones multiple times. Don't know how many flights are gonna be going on for longer than 20 hours, but either way, it's nice to have a long battery. So the Sony's have a big up on this, about 10 extra hours. And I know that the Bose go in a hibernation mode without the noise cancellation on, so they give you a little bit more battery life. Same thing with the Sony's as well. If you don't have the active noise cancellation, you get upwards of 40 hours on both of them from my recollection. Range is something that these headphones don't have an insane amount of space on or they don't have a lot of competitive advantage on compared to some other headphones. Uh, these have 30 feet of range, inline range, and these also have 30 feet of inline range. So you wanna be able to carry your phone on you because if you don't and you're on a phone call, it'll cut out after 30 feet or around a wall or something like that. So these both have the same exact range, about 30 feet, pretty standard across the board. And I wouldn't say that uh, we're gonna see a huge improvement on these in a while. I know Plantronics has a 100 feet range. We actually tested that and that was sick to see, take the headphones, go across our entire warehouse here and still have a great connection. That's kind of cool. These don't have any great range. That's not really what you're buying them for anyways. You're mainly buying them for the comfort, the fit, and the sound quality. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the sound quality now. From my couple different tests, they were both really good at sound. And we're gonna go ahead and try and see, I'm gonna play the same song for about a minute, just kind of see what seems better at the moment and see what I can give you guys information wise. They sound good, they definitely have a really good acoustic so you can really pick up everything. Not super heavy on the bass, kind of like a Beats product or anything like that, but they definitely sound really good, which is awesome. All right, I'm gonna play the same exact music on this side and see how these sound. I'm a little biased, I really like these bows. I've been wearing them for quite a while, just testing them out. Battery, 13 hours. All right. Oh, the bows are so much louder. Yeah, the Sony's definitely don't let as much sound if you put it to the highest volume. I would definitely would say the Bose headphones are definitely much more clear, definitely more loud as well. I would say the Sony definitely has a little bit more bass and they are very clear as well. You have more of an orchestra sound, so you have just a little bit more, it just sounds more like the sound's coming through really clear. And then the Bose are a little bit more tinny, I would say. Not as refined as the Sony headphones. The Sony definitely has a much nicer sound overall with everything, which is cool. They must have mastered them. You know, the, mu the music and the headphones really, really well. I'm gonna listen to this one more time. Yeah, the Sony sound a lot better. Overall, the sound quality is so much better than the other, than these Bose headphones. All right, so sound quality. The Sony definitely sound a lot better. I'm not really a big fan of the Bose compared to the Sony, but in general, the Bose still have a really, really good sound. If you guys want some rock and bass, I do prefer some Beats headphones in general, but these just sound really good overall. Have a lot of the notes are being picked up. You can hear everything really well, exactly like the person that made the song mastered it to be heard, which is really, really sick. One of the things that our cameraman here, Aaron, said is uh, the Bose NC700s leak a lot more sound when they're at full volume than these Sony. So the Sony's definitely have a much better noise cancellation in regards to what's leaking out. But when I did the test of what's coming in, I still heard the same amount of noise coming in from both of them. I just the sound that's coming out comes out of the Bose NC700s a lot more than you're coming from the Sony's. Aaron, did you hear anything from the Sony's at all? A little bit? Still get a little bit of uh, bleeding noise coming out of here. Makes sense, especially since you know, you're know you not gonna have a perfect contour around the ear pad on your face. But in general, the, the Bose definitely have a lot more bleeding noise, which makes sense based on the design. All right, which one wins for me? I'm a big fan of the Bose headphones because I feel like they're gonna last a lot longer. They have a high premium feel because they're all metal, which is sick. And I really like wearing them. 
I like the Sony's in general because the sound is better, but I don't really like the feel of them. I don't like the, the, the how they fit on my face as well. I'm more of a fan of the Bose headphones, so I'm gonna go with the Bose NC700s, but for sound quality, I think the Sony's have to win. So this time, I'm not as definitive. I'm gonna go with the Bose, but it could be pretty much a tie, 51-49. That 1%, I guess, I'm gonna go with the boat just because of the fact that it feels a little better under my ears, on my face, and the design is definitely more sleek. If you guys just look at the design, I mean, it's a fair win, right? This thing looks like, of course, like some kind of rocket ship, and this thing just looks much cooler, much cleaner. There's you know, no headphones out there on the market, except for, of course, the really overpriced Apple AirPod Max, or Pros, or whatever they're calling them now, which are gonna be pretty much the same design. They just stole the design from Bose and just charged a couple hundred bucks more for it. One last thing, just in case you're doing Zoom calls with your headphones, the Sony's have a better microphone in regards to picking up voice. They both have internal microphones. The Sony's have a better job of doing that. What's really cool about both of these headphones is to go into transparency mode when a phone call comes in so you can hear yourself better rather than staying in a noise cancellation mode which makes you talk a lot louder and then people think you're yelling at them which is not really what's happening it's just the fact that you have noise cancellation going on so the sony's do have a better microphone built in to be able to pick up your voice and to transmit that on your zoom call when you're just at work or doing whatever you're doing on zoom so that's something to keep in mind as well if you're buying the sony versus the bose headphones there you go folks hope this video helped you guys out these headphones are pretty sick if you guys want to buy any headphones we sell a ton of headphones on our website joesge.com feel free to check it out and if you guys have any comments any suggestions leave a comment we'll get back to you guys and if you guys want to support us check something out on our website we appreciate it this is joe with joesge.com signing out have a wonderful day